Hey guys, Mastic is back with another bit of a technical guide for Borderlands today and the last video I put up showed that I was playing Borderlands 1 on the PC using my Xbox 360 save and a few people wanted to see how this was done so I decided to do a bit of a guide, explain it as thoroughly as I can and uh, try and show you the process. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get our Xbox 360 save game, we're going to use a couple of programs to convert it to a PC save game and uh, yeah that's basically what this tutorial is going to cover so let's get into it this is of course the xbox 360 dashboard this should also work on the ps3 uh, you just may need to use different programs i'm not going to get into it because uh, i've only got it on the xbox 360 and on pc so that's what we're going to cover so basically we're at the dashboard we want to go all the way across to settings yeah settings we go into system and we go into storage. Uh, storage is whatever you've got, your hard drive, your USB device, whatever you've got where your save games are located on your Xbox 360. So my Borderlands save games are on the hard drive. So we go here, we go games and apps, and then we find Borderlands. Borderlands is right there. And all our save games, all our DLC, everything is located here. So it's quite easy to see what you need to get. So basically what we want to get is this save game, Vixen level 69, uh, that's our siren. So what we want to do is we want to select it. We want to copy it, okay, to a USB drive. Now you're going to need some sort of external USB drive, uh, a little flash drive, something like that, that you can copy your Xbox 360 save game across to. I have a little external hard drive uh, that works well. You may need to test a few different USB devices. Some of them don't meet the requirements, but when you do find one, all you have to do is select it. And this will now copy my save game to that USB device. So now that save is located on the USB device. So that's it. As far as the console side of things go, we're finished here. What we have to do now is load it up in the PC and I'm gonna uh, switch to the PC now and I'll start explaining what you've got to do next. All right, we'll be back in a sec. All right, here we are back on the PC. We now have our USB device plugged into our PC. We also have the two programs required, downloaded and installed. I will link those in the description. Uh, they are clean, they are safe, uh, and they are from reputable sources. Uh, and of course, you need to have Borderlands installed on your PC. That's what this is all about. Let's tear into this and be as quick as we can. First program you're gonna need is this USB XTAF GUI. What this lets you do is look at your Xbox USB drive on your PC. You need to use this program, otherwise you can't look at the files. File, open device selector, USB memory unit F, which is our Xbox drive that we just pulled across the USB. Open it. You wanna to go to data partition, content and what you want to do is if you have a few saves it might take a bit more time if you just have the one save in there all you need to do is find the save game so that is the save we copied across it's the only thing we copied across so this is what we need we need to click on it and simply drag and drop onto the desktop this program can now be closed so now what we have is our xbox 360 save game is now pulled from our Xbox 360 and now sitting on our PC desktop. Uh, it is still in Xbox 360 format though, so we need to change that. You do that with a program called Willow Tree. Willow Tree is very, very cool, very, very up to date. Uh, you can do a lot with Willow Tree. I won't really get into it much. There are plenty of Willow Tree tutorials on YouTube and out there at Google if you want to know a bit more about it. But this is how you convert a save game from Xbox 360 to PC. You wanna click this button, we want to go open. You can see we're on the desktop. We want to open this save game. Open. Okay, we can check it. General info. Uh, and you can see Vixen. That is the save game we copied across. At the top, it'll also confirm that it is Vixen, a level 69 siren, and it is an Xbox 360 save. For the video's sake, we'll change it to show you that it is going to be a new save. We'll change it to YouTube video. There we go. So <laughs> we're going to change the name of the character to YouTube video. You can also go in and you can change stats on weapons and things like that if you want. Again, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, this is just basically a conversion. So now we, that we've checked it, that is the save game that we want. You wanna click this button again. You wanna to go to change save format and you wanna change it to PC. Uh, again, you can probably work this out for yourself if you have a PS3 version and you wanna bring across PS3 saves to the PC. Same process, you just might need something different to actually look at the PS3 saves. Not sure, I haven't messed around with it. But now we have our save game converted. Uh, we've changed the name of the character to YouTube video. Um, we're going to hit this again. 
We're gonna go save as. Actually, no, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change this. Change the save number to one. If you, if you have it as two, it'll actually duplicate that save game, uh, which is a bit annoying. So we'll go save one. We'll go here, save as, and we will save it on the desktop as save triple zero one. Save, confirmation that it has been saved. Okay, we can now close Willow Tree. So now we have our original Xbox 360 save and the same save game converted for PC use. The folder you will need to open is your documents, games, Borderlands, save data. You can see none of our saves are here at the moment. So we can just drag this one in. We only have one save game there right now, which is the one that we just converted from our Xbox 360 to our PC. We should be able to double click Borderlands. Right, here we go. Click the button. Single player. Bam. YouTube video. So that is a save that we just created. Uh, we can click on it. Playthrough 1 and 2 are completed. It's basically a carbon copy of your Xbox 360 save. All of your progress, all of your skills, all of your weapons, your money, all of your weapon attribute points. Everything that you did on the console is now available to you on your PC. All my proficiencies are intact. All of my weapons, my beautiful pearl, uh, my beautiful pearl shield, uh, very, very rare stuff, all my uh, hard-earned weapons, and of course your skill trees, missions, everything carries across. So, and you can just go on your merry way. So uh, I know that a lot of people probably won't find this useful, but there are a lot of people that did play uh, Borderlands on the Xbox 360 or the PS3 that may have upgraded to a, a nice gaming PC and wouldn't mind coming back and uh, reliving the game again in better frame rates, better graphics, and maybe even mess around uh, with some of the weapons and things like that that they never had before. But anyway, if it's helpful, let me know in the comments. If you have any trouble, let me know in the comments. If you want a sandwich, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, until the next video, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out either one of those videos on the screen right now. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them below and I'll get around to them when I can. Thanks again. And until the next video, we'll see you later.